Hi everyone, this is Gabriel from Boto. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to track sales of an NFT collection and, and get automatic notifications in Discord. So, first thing you need to do is to log into the app. If you don't have an account, you can create one. It's for free. So once you're logged in, first thing to do is to click on recipes. Now, if you wonder what recipes are, recipes are bot templates. Recipes are pre-made bots that are almost ready to use. And the recipe that we're looking for is NFT sales to Discord bot here. So we click on it. And there we go. So here we see the building blocks of your bot. It might look a little bit complicated uh, in the beginning, but it's actually very simple. I'll show you how. So this bot has two blocks and each block does something. So this block in the left, the NFT events block, it tracks NFT sales. And this one in the right sends notifications to Discord. It's simple, right? So now, we have to set up some things before we make this bot work. So we see here that the address field is missing. And just above, we see that the address type is contract. So what does that mean? We use contract when we want to track an NFT collection, as opposed to tracking a person or an investor. So what we need to do here is to find the address of that NFT collection. So I'll take as example the Invisible Friends collection. And if you open any NFT page on OpenSea, you will see on the details the, the contract address. So just click here. And at Etherscans page, just copy the contract address. Then go back to Bodo and paste that address here in the NFT events block. So great. So half of it is done. Now we only need the other half. Now we have to choose a channel ID. This field tells Bodo which Discord channel it should send notifications to. But before doing that, if this is your first time setting up a bot with Bodo, you need first to invite Bodo into your Discord server. You only have to do it once for a server. So let's do that. Click in the add button to add a new channel. Here we are in Boto's Knowledge Center. In step number one, open this link into a separate tab or window. Click Continue, we Authorize, and great, there we go. We can close this window. And as we see in the second step here, we need to authorize Boto into the channel that we want to receive messages. So we go there, I'll take my test server, I'll create a random channel, random channel, and I wanna receive messages here in my random channel. So I'll have to type slash A-U-T-H off, right? And then the email that you used to log into Bodo. My case is gtest1 at gmail.com. And then we enter. Great. So the authorization is done. Now I can send messages to this channel using my Boto. And I will notice this channel ID here. So just to make it simple, it ends with 9318. And we'll go back to my Boto. Here, we will refresh the list and select the channel here. So that's basically it. We're almost done. Now, next thing we'll do, we'll do a quick test. We'll try to send a test message to our server. And for that, we'll click here, test this block. So you see that it sent a message to our server. Here's a proof of it. And 
this is only a test message. This is not a real message, okay? So we use this just to test if the connection between Bodo and Discord is okay and up and running. So this is fine. You can go back there and a few, a couple of steps to, to finalize it. First, we click on Create Boto. Fantastic. Now we know that our Boto is created, is saved. And the next thing is to turn it on. Congratulations, your bot is up and running. You can check your Boto at the menu, My Botos. Now just wait for the sales to happen and you will get automatic notifications in your Discord server. You can also check the history of bot runs in the dashboard page. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out more in Boto.io.